Now we are going to do some experiments to see how matter can be changed from one form to another form. From solids to liquids, from liquids to solids, from liquids to gas and from gas to liquids. Here I have three types of solids. I have chocolate, wax and butter. One by one I am going to heat them and we are going to observe how solid changes form and becomes liquid. We have used this candle and taken the wax out in that bowl. Now I'm going to melt that and show you how the solid will turn into a liquid. We can see that the solid has turned into a liquid. I have some water in this pan. I'm going to put this bowl of chocolate into it to see how the chocolate will melt. Now we can observe and see that the chocolate has started to melt. I'm now going to take one ice cube and put it in this bowl to see how it will melt. You can observe and see that the ice has melted. Just the little piece is left. The solid has turned back into liquid form. At room temperature, water is in liquid form. We are now going to change liquid to gas. So I will take some water and boil it and we will observe how it converts into steam. You can observe that the water is bubbling, it's boiling and we can see the steam rising from the pan. So actually the water which is liquid is changing into gas, it's changing into steam. We can see the steam here rising from the pan. We are now going to observe how a liquid can turn into a solid. I will pour water into this ice cube tray and put it in the freezer for some time and we will see how the water will solidify and become ice. The water has turned into ice you can see that the liquid form has changed into a solid form. I have poured the liquid butter in this bowl. As it will cool down, it is going to solidify. So we will observe that liquid butter again solidifies and becomes a solid. I have poured the wax in the bowl and as it will cool down, it will solidify. We can see that the wax has hardened. It has turned from a liquid state to a solid state. Similarly, the butter here has also hardened. You can see that the liquid has turned into a solid at room temperature. I've placed this cover. Here you will see on the cover that there will be some tiny small water droplets which is an example of gas turning into liquid. I was holding the cover for a few seconds and you can see that the steam has converted back into water. Because the temperature of this cover was cooler than the temperature of the steam, when the steam hit the cover, it converted back into water. The gas turned back into water because the temperature changed back to a cooler temperature. If the temperature of this cover would have been the same as the steam, it would not have converted.